So we're going to review this Finerci DWS 200. This is a precision intelligent soldering station. So let's have a look and see what it comes with. It's like the soldering station itself. It's got an on off switch, a USB C for software upgrades. This is for the torch, a plug here to go to the torch holder, and then a 110 plug here, which looks like it has a fuse in it. Then on the front, you've got six buttons. Real nice tactile feel on the buttons and a screen. Then a couple of locations here on the sides for some helping hands. The solder gun holder, another spot up here where you can put some of the attachments. This is where the soldering gun goes, of course, sits in here. And then to help you uh, remove and reinsert different size soldering tips when they're hot. Got a nice, I think it's brass brush here for cleaning the tip of the soldering gun. There we go. A cord holder that will screw into here and then a plug in. And on the bottom they both have some real nice rubber feet. To keep it from sliding around on your workbench. And then all of the accessories So you've got your plug-in cord, the cord that goes between the two units there, and the cord holder, one soldering gun, or iron I guess it would be called, got an instruction book, looks like it's in several different languages, nice color printed book. like two helping hands and six different soldering tips. A little inspection sticker. To have a variety of different types of tips here. Angled tip for hard to reach places with a very fine point. Another kind of a general purpose tip. A blade tip. It's so a larger blade tip, a very fine point, and then another pointed tip for some fine work or general purpose type soldering. A few of the nice features is you've got the built-in helping hands for holding parts while you're working on them. You can also fold them out of your way. You've got storage for spare tips on both pieces. So you can have a lot of extra tips just handy and ready to go. Which is nice. And on the back of the main unit, you have an on-off switch. So you can turn that on, and that'll power the unit. You can just let it sit like this on your bench, and when you're ready to use it, hit the power button on the front to turn it on or turn it off. It starts up in sleep mode or standby mode. And then here on this display, you've got the temperature of the standby. So 212 is the standby temperature, and this is set for Fahrenheit. And then it's got a countdown and you can adjust the time before it actually shuts down. 
Then when you press the uh, settings button, you can go into the different parameters that you can adjust. This is the temperature setting for the temperature steps. So how many degrees in temperature does it increase or decrease when you hit the right or left arrows? Got it currently set on sleep temp 212, screen shutdown, on or off. The time, you can adjust that here, and then you've got standby switch, on or off. You can select between the different modes by pressing the mode button. Make your adjustment, go to the next one, make an adjustment, go to the next one. And adjust it however you prefer to set it up. Here you can use uh, shortcuts, so three different temperature settings that you can set in there with just the push of this button, you can choose between those three different settings, put them at whatever temperature you prefer. Here you can calibrate the temperature if you feel like it needs calibrated. Adjust the screen brightness, the volume of the beeps, and change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You can select your language, or you can reset everything back to the factory settings. So when you put the soldering iron into the holder, automatically it goes into standby. Once you remove it, then it turns on, heats up really super quick. I've got the preset settings here, 572, 626, and 680. That's just what it came standard with. Once you insert it back into the holder, then it cools back down to the preset, whatever you have it set for. Mine is set at 212 degrees Fahrenheit and it'll take it a little bit to cool down. But once you pull it out of there, it heats back up again, and it uh, is really, really quick. But you can adjust the temperatures here. Preset settings. Or you have several different screens to choose from. It shows you the power of the gun as you pull it out it starts to warm up the power or the temperature goes up this one is power and temperature so you can see what the soldering iron or soldering tip is actually doing as far as power and temperature really cool feature put it back in there it starts to cool down and it uses much less power or back to the standard screen. So this is a very high quality feature packed soldering station and I think it'll suit the needs for most people. Of course you've got the tool removal so you can remove the tips when they're hot. Gives you a warning that the tip is not inserted and then of course you can use that same part of the tool to reinsert a new tip. Very cool. I'll leave links for this in the description if you're looking to pick up a new soldering station for yourself or for somebody else. Click the video on the screen now for another video I think you'll enjoy and we'll see you over there.